Oh, I'd better be good, Captain. You couldn't tell the minute Juno'd hop in on us again. Well, let her hop in. She might as well find out at the first as at the last. I've made up my mind. I'm not going to do what only she damn well pleases. Then sentiments does you credit, Captain. I don't like to say anything as between a man and a wife. But I say it as a buddy. As a buddy, Captain. That you've stuck it out too long. And it's about time you showed a little spunk. She has her rights, there's no denying it. But haven't I me rights too? Of course you have. The sacred rights of man. Today, Doctor, there's going to be issued a proclamation be me establishing an independent republic. And Juno will have to take an oath of allegiance. Be firm, be firm, Captain. Oh, the first few minutes will be the worst. If you gently touch the nettle, it'll sting you for your pains. Grasp it like a lad of metal. And the soft as silk remains. <laughs> the Holy God, let's see it! Let's check it! Oh, you're in! You must be only after coming in. No, I never went out. Oh, it's curious, and you didn't hear the knocking. Knocking, oh, of course I heard the knocking. Why didn't you answer the door then? Mm. Oh, I suppose you were so busy with Joxer that you hadn't time. I haven't seen Joxer since I seen him before. 